What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another DC Dual Force video and today I want to take a look at the starter decks and the free to play player experience because one of the most common complaints I've heard about this game so far is that for new players or free to play players um, are not very happy with how fast or rather how slow they are acquiring new cards within the game and you know what i decided to test this out for myself because full transparency i did get into the closed streamer beta and all the streamers got access to all the cards in the game and uh, while i am thankful for that you know what i was like you know i'm gonna make a free to play account see how it actually feels unlocking cards in this game so i made a brand new account spent zero dollars all i did was complete the tutorial and complete the uh, single player comics mission and that's about it spent no money and i gotta say i do agree that it is very slow at the rate you earn coins because uh 2000 coins is one pack and it can feel like forever just to unlock one pack so uh, i do kind of sympathize with you guys there but what i will say is that i brought this concern up uh, with the developers of the game they did say that they are taking a look at it and of course there are more features coming to the game that are uh, going to help you acquire more cards uh, one of them being daily login bonuses another one is going to be the uh, ten dollar subscription per month and even if you don't pay for the subscription which uh, if you are going to play this game consistently i think you should since it is good value but even if you don't pay for the subscription there are still going to be free rewards that you can uh, get from that uh, subscription service and then uh, crafting is coming to the game later as well it's currently not in the open beta but they did say that it is coming later i want to say early august now i did just check the website real quick and they did say that the monthly subscription and the daily login bonuses are coming early august which is actually not far away we're already mid-july so uh, early August is really only a couple weeks away. They did say a uh, competitive ladder and crafting are coming, but they did not give a specific date uh, on those features just yet. But overall, my point is that I do agree that, you know, your complaints are valid and justify that the free to play uh, player experience is not the best right now, you know, but what I will say is is that i think the developers are pretty open to feedback i think they have been taking it all in and uh slowly but surely uh been improving the game one step at a time so i think if you if you like the core gameplay of this game you know i would recommend you try and stick with it because i think this game really is going to be something special once they just uh add a little bit more polish to the game uh, add a little bit more content like the competitive ladder and then more uh, more pve missions right pve is a, is a pretty big deal we're gonna get more of those comics uh and then of course the better economy and things like that so if you like the gameplay of this game i recommend you stick with it but with that out of the way what i want to do today is i want to take a look at the three starter decks and i want to try and build like an improved uh free to play like budget friendly version of these deck lists and then i'm going to show you on my main account like what a fully like decked out uh deck would look like that you want to try and work towards um i'm going to focus on one deck at a time though because that's just kind of how my brain works if i uh, focused on all three decks in one video i think it would be uh too much for me to handle and this video would probably be like over an hour long so i don't want to do that we're going to focus on one deck at a time and i want to focus on the batman wonder woman deck specifically because i think that is probably the strongest starter deck you can play at the moment if you're someone that just got into the game and you're like okay i don't care about um you know whatever characters or cards look cool i just want to play the best deck that i can uh and i think that's going to be batman wonder woman still batman did receive some nerfs with his gadgets but I think he's still such a flexible, uh, all-around good leader. And I think the Might faction, uh, which is the the Red faction where, where uh, Wonder Woman is a part of, I think the Might faction is just an overall good uh, beginner faction because a lot of the cards are, are very straightforward and very 
easy to play, whereas some of the other uh, factions, I'll say like Anarchy and Tyranny, may be a little bit more advanced. So uh, we're going to start off with Batman Wonder Woman. Now let's take a look at the starter deck first. Okay, so this is the starter deck that you get uh, Brave and the Bold Batman Wonder Woman deck list. Now let's take a look at it. I'm going to talk over what cards I like, what cards I don't like, and then we're going to uh, try and build an improved version of this deck list. And then later on, I'll show you the fully stacked deck, uh, deck list. So starting off, we got two Batterings. Now Batterings um, are one of the cards that got nerfed recently. Actually, they, le they used to do two damage to an enemy recruit. They are now only dealing one damage um now before the nerf i would definitely put these in my starting deck now i'm not so sure to be honest i think early game removal is very important in this game because uh if there are some cards that can go unanswered um it can be pretty pretty scary um for example one card is clark kent i don't actually own on this account um, but he's a 1-1 one, one start, meaning at the start of your next turn, transform Clark Kent into Superman and exhaust him. And the Superman is a 6-6 six, six body with a shield. So this is a card you want to get rid of immediately. So that's where like things like Battering uh, can come in handy. Um, you definitely can leave them in your deck, but I'm kind of iffy. I, I think I lean more towards maybe... Uh, like tear gas now which is going to um, give an enemy recruit minus two power uh, and then we move on we got antiope which is a three three with aura i think that's an okay card i think aura is a good keyword aura uh, just means the next time this character would be affected by an enemy's ability or action it isn't so basically let's say you have antiope on the board you try and hit it with a battering uh, that battering is going to be null but the next time you try and hit it with a battering then it will be able to do damage so aura 3-3 three, three stat line uh, it's a pretty decent card and we have the minotaur which is just a 3-4 with no text uh, i think this is one of those cards that you want to uh, get rid of or upgrade when you can uh, like 3-4 is a good stat line for a bronze card but no text means it's just it's it's not great like i'd rather have antiope for the aura keyword right next up we have the question now the question is actually a really good card um i would say this is probably one of the best like tactics bronze uh bronze cards because he has hunter which means he can attack hidden and protected characters and he has a deploy ability that draws you a card plus a 2-1 stat line so uh just playing a, a bronze recruit on the first turn of the game and being able to draw a card is very very valuable so the question is actually a really good card Next up, we have two copies of Super Strength to give a friendly recruit plus three plus, uh, plus three plus three. I think this is a pretty decent card, maybe in more of the uh, the advanced decks. Uh, maybe I would take it out or maybe I'll just keep one copy and it kind of depends on what you're doing. But for a starter card, I think it's fine. Uh, utility Belt. Now, this is actually a really good card. Uh, so it says Seek Any Gadgets. Seek meaning you can uh, create a, a gadget. It's not something that starts... In your starting deck and if we take a look at the gadgets uh we have battering grapple gun tear gun and i think the other one that's missing is uh is bandage so basically you can just create any gadget that you want and draw a card Th this card is really really good um so yeah that, that's a great starter card to have harvey bullock is a two three deploy deal one damage to an enemy recruit uh, a little bit more of that early game removal i think he's he's an okay card um i think he is good in the early game but when you draw him later on it, it kind of feels like not that great but he's a decent card uh warlord is a bronze five one now uh, with no text, this is a card that I would probably want to be upgrading. Now, the 5-1 does have some synergy with things like Aquaman and Black Adam, but you're not going to have those leaders right away. I don't even have those leaders on this uh, free-to-play account. The only leader I've actually unlocked on this free-to-play uh, free account so far is Cyborg. So, Warlord, I would probably get rid of in this deck list, um, unless you had something uh, like crypto to uh to give him a shield but i don't even have uh crypto on this account yet yeah so crypto is going to give another friendly character shield could synergize with the warlord um but he goes more with uh aquaman and black adam next up we have a rest which is going to return an enemy recruit to your opponent's hand this card is actually 
really good. Tactics has like some of the best cards in the game, uh, to be honest with you. So uh, returning an enemy recruit to your opponent's hand is going to get rid of like any buffs they receive so let's say they they uh they played like a, a minotaur on the board right and they just buffed up this minotaur like crazy it went to a 10 10 if you use a rest on him it goes back to your opponent's hand and he's gonna lose all those buffs and go back to his base stats so uh a rest is a really valuable card then we have huntress which is a 5 5 hunter um this one's a decent card this this is one i i probably want to start upgrading once you get more cards um things like commissioner gordon um i can i can show you later on my main account uh next up we got nightmare nurse end meaning at the end of your turn heal two damage from each of your other characters with a three four stat line now this card's actually not that bad the thing that makes her really good is uh it says it says characters and characters meaning your recruits and your leaders so it can heal your recruits and leaders which is actually really valuable now i don't know if i would put two copies in this deck list it kind of depends maybe you just need one but i think uh nightmare nurse is actually pretty good and then we have uh the queen here uh the, the, this is actually a, an insanely good card to be honest this is a um, this is one that you still run like in the top tier uh decks here so it has aura uh four five stat line deploy give your other recruits plus one plus one so it's kind of um it, it really does synergize with uh, Wonder Woman leader, which is going to give all your recruits extra defense. This card is going to give your recruits uh, attack and defense on top of the aura uh, keyword and a 4-5 stat line. So this, this, this is a really good card here. Next up on the list, we have Batwing, which reads, after you play a gadget, Batwing gets plus one, plus one. Deploy, create a gadget in your hand with a 3-4 that line um gadgets are just insanely strong right so obviously he has um synergy with batman who's going to create a gadget every two turns uh this is definitely one of the uh, the better mic cards i think as long as you're running um gadgets in your in your deck list right or or enough cards that can create gadgets this this card can really pop off this is something that your opponent is probably going to want to prioritize uh that way they can get rid of him before he grows really large so batwing is a pretty good card um, next up we have Superboy, which is a 4-4 four, four and a shield. I think this is this is a decent card. This is a decent card. Like maybe you can um, upgrade it. Maybe you can still run it in some decks. Um, there are a lot of cards that have synergy with the shield uh, keyword. Um, cards I don't have. Things like uh, Bibbo Bukowski, Deploy if you have a crew with shield, draw a card. Um, then there's also other cards here. I think uh, like uh, yeah, Power Girl and Super Girl, which synergize with the uh, Shield keyword. But for a starter card, he's not that bad. Uh, next up, we have Bat Computer that just reads draw two cards. Drawing cards is just always good, <laughs> right? Like drawing cards is never going to be a bad thing for a silver resource. Um, not bad. Like maybe you can swap one of these out and just run one copy. But it's a pretty decent card. Next up, we have Hammer Throw. Deal damage to an enemy recruit equal to the uh, attack of your highest recruit. Um, this is a this is kind of like an okay card. It's a good card in some situations. The thing is, you need really strong recruits to synergize with this card. In this deck, we do have some strong recruits like Gotham Girl and Big Barda. But other than that, our recruits are uh, like four, five, or less. Um, this this card's good, but I think it's it's better in maybe more like um like Aquaman decks probably, where Aquaman just revolves around buffing his sea creatures a lot. So this is a decent card in this deck. Maybe something you can uh, replace later on. Then we have Hawkman. After Hawkman is affected by a friendly action, he gets plus two, plus two, and he has a four, four stat line. Now Hawkman is a good card, but thing is, you need. You need the cards uh, available to help make him good. Things like uh, the Mace, uh, which is a friendly action, but I don't have this card. Things like the Amazonian Bracers. Um, there's also another card. Uh, I forget what it's called. Oh, it's this one. Hephaestus, which is going to seek a new divine weapon. Uh, so basically, just uh, he's going to create these cards that will be able to buff up your cards and if you buff up Hawkman he's going to get an additional plus two plus two so he can be good in some decks but there's really not a lot here that synergizes with him I think super strength and I think that's about it unless 
Unless maybe you also can hit him with like a, a bandage that you get from Batman. So he's he's a pretty good card, but he's just okay in this specific deck list. Uh, and then for our gold cards, we have two copies of Gotham Girl, which is a 7-8 uh, no text. For a beginner card, this is okay, but this is something uh, later on that you definitely want to swap out so like there's going to be uh, a better gold cards out there right because uh having no keywords uh is not it's it's okay but it just it just dies like to spells uh pretty easily is the thing and we have big barda again a 610 it's an okay starter card but this is something you're going to want to replace later on and then we have truth and justice which is actually a really good card uh, so this says give your characters plus two plus two and again when it doesn't specify uh recruits or leaders and it just says characters it means all your characters your recruits and your leaders so your recruits and your leaders get plus two plus two which is really nice and um it, it's just going to buff your cards on the board not in your hand and deck that would be that would be busted <laughs> but just your cards that are on the board so truth and justice is actually a really good card so overall th this is probably like the best starter deck you can play out of the three there's definitely some improvements to make so let's go ahead and let's try and build an improved uh budget friendly free to play player friendly uh deck all right so let's go ahead and try and build a better version of that starter deck here uh we're just gonna call this improved starter uh starter one. Oh, i can't use numbers let's just say let's just say improved starter then we'll say improved starter okay so here we go let's try and build an improved version um of the starter deck list i'm gonna start off with tactics uh first because i think tactics is a, is a little bit a little bit easier to build off of so first off a card that the starter deck doesn't have is alfred alfred is an insanely good card so uh, Alfred's a 1-1 bronze. He reads deploy, create a bandage in your hand, and uh, a friendly Batman leader gains a charge. And of course, the ban uh, bandage is just going to heal three damage for you, and it is a gadget. So we definitely want two copies of Alfred. Um, any card that says like charge a leader is just going to be really good. And another thing is that Alfred synergizes really well with the uh, Grapnel Gun, which is going to return a friendly recruit to your hand because you're not playing Alfred for his stats, right? Like a 1-1 one, one is not good, but you're playing him for his deploy ability. So uh, if you can return him back to your hand with Grapnel Gun and play him again, uh, then he's really good. Now, um, we have Battering, Grapnel Gun, and Tear Gas as free cards we can throw in this deck list. I'm not too sure about them just yet. I'm going to come back to them. Um, this this is also kind of like a deck building video. Uh, kind of show you like my thought process behind deck building. Maybe I'll do a more like uh, in-depth video on deck building. But what I like to do is like, okay, I'm going to add in this card. I'm going to come back to these cards. And then let me look at these ones. And I, I kind of jump all over the place. But I'll try and explain my thoughts as best as I can. Um, arrest again uh, arrest I mentioned is a really good card so I'll go ahead and throw in two copies of that Arkham guard maybe I feel like this card is a little bit underrated actually it's a one four with guard um, meaning if it's in the front row it's going to protect all your other cards and deploy if there's an enemy anarchy or tyranny leader Arkham guard gets plus one plus one and he'll be a two five so uh, if he gets that deploy effect he's really good a two five bronze with guard is insanely good right but one four guard is not bad either so maybe we'll throw him in we'll come back to it now a card that's really good is um bluebird i only have one copy unfortunately but i would run two if i could it's just a two three deploy create a gadget in your hand anything that's going to uh create a gadget or uh seek a card or help you draw cards anything that's just gonna add more cards to your hand is just a really good card in this game just just trust me so we're gonna add one bluebird um harvey bullock we can go ahead and throw in harvey we can throw in two copies uh for some early game removal we got misfit nightshade which uh this has evade and hunter maybe you can put that in nightshade three two hidden maybe um i'm more of a fan of the cards with deploy abilities that's just me personally but i think we'll skip on those uh, we have Silas Stone here, which is deploy heal 5 damage from a friendly character, and he's a 1-3. It's actually really good for healing your leaders. 
um maybe we'll we'll put him in again i'll come back to him now the question the question is a really good card just deploy draw a card with hunter we definitely want two of him we want two of utility belt again seek a gadget and drawing a card uh what else do we want here the bat computer uh i do like bat computer yeah we, we can throw in two bat computers um bat cycle is also really good it's going to charge a friendly leader and give them evade and draw a card so we'll throw in two bat cycles uh we probably are we're probably going to generate a lot of gadgets with this deck or at least a decent amount so we can put in two bat wings and at this point um i'm getting close to my 20 card limit so i start to take a look and i'm like okay do i want to keep all these cards is there anything i want to change out right now these cards are kind of uh, revolving around gadgets, drawing cards, deploy abilities. Uh, and if you click this little graph here, it'll also show you like your um, your your curve, meaning how many um, of each card you have. So right now I have 11 bronze, 6 silver, 0 gold, 9 recruits, and 8 action cards. Um, so we got 3 more slots. I think what I want to do is add a couple gold cards in here. I'm going to add the signal. Um, the signal is an 8-4, but he has two keywords that are really good. Ambush. If this character KOs a character it attacks, it doesn't take damage back. And then evade. Next time this character is attacked, the attack is avoided. So we can throw in one copy of the signal there. Uh, and then we got two more uh, slots here. We do have built a new um, I could throw in here. What else do we want in this deck list? I think we have a lot of action cards. Um, I think maybe we put in a couple more. Uh, either maybe bronze cards, maybe Arkham Guard, honestly. Like, I, I'm not I'm not opposed to Arkham Guard, but also the thing is, like, what are we what are we protecting, right, with the guard keyword? Like, maybe we want to protect our Batwing, um, but a lot of these bronze cards have bronze abilities that just pop off right away. Um, you know what? We're, we'll go we'll go to Might, and then we'll come back to this. Um, I, I kind of tend to do that sometimes. I'll kind of like, okay, I got my tactics cards. So let me go to Might, and then I kind of go back and forth, right? So let's go over to Might. Uh, here, I think we can put in Antiope. Antiope's fine. Um, super Strength is, is pretty good, right? We can throw in Super Strength. Superman Robot is a really good card. Has Shield and Guard. Hammer Throw. Maybe just one for now. We can throw in one copy of Hammer Throw um hawkman i don't know i don't know if i have a lot of cards to take advantage of hawkman so i might i might skip hawkman for now uh kong keenan he needs a character with shield to get shield himself uh we're not really focused on that uh the queen is a really good card we'll throw her in here uh Superboy is a is a pretty good beginner card as well uh, and then we go to the gold cards i like nubia for the the aura keyword we can throw nubia in there and what else do we have uh truth and justice i'll throw in two copies of truth and justice we'll throw in a copy of uh the swamp thing aquaman throne of atlantis uh, of course they're going to synergize with the aquaman leader which i don't have so uh, i think we can go ahead and leave him out uh and then we take a look at our curve once more so hmm we got 20 recruits 13 action so i probably I think I have enough action cards. We probably start putting more recruits in our deck list. I think what we'll do is we'll put in uh, two copies of the Minotaur. Uh, again, I think this is a card you want to upgrade early, uh, later on. Uh, so something like Steve Trevor, but I don't have Steve Trevor on this account, unfortunately. So uh, we'll throw in the Minotaur. We'll throw in um, Big Barda that can synergize with the Hammer Throw. So let's go ahead and throw in another copy of Hammer Throw then. And that'll be... The, uh, the might side let's take a look at our cards once more uh sometimes this glitches out a little bit unfortunately so let's go back here look at the graph uh we got we got plenty of action cards so let's just get a couple of recruits in here honestly we could do gotham girl just as another uh another big card like we don't have a lot of gold cards in our deck list i do like the nightmare nurse also though okay so i'm gonna make a couple changes here what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take out um one bat computer we'll take out one bat cycle i think we have a decent amount of uh draw in here right uh we'll do that we'll put in nightmare nurse i think nightmare nurse is a is a really good card to to uh heal our characters and then you know what i'm gonna throw an arkham guard 
because I think Arkham Guard is going to be good to um, protect cards like the Nightmare Nurse as well as um, what is the other card I was thinking of? Uh, Batwing, right? So this is the improved starter deck. This is still a very budget deck, right? There are still cards in here uh, that we probably want to be replacing, like the Minotaur. Uh, we probably want to get rid of him. And there's some cards like we want more copies of, like I think two blur, uh, Bluebird copies are, are good. Um, Arkham Guard, I think he's okay for now, but again, maybe that's something we replace later on. Antiope we could probably replace later on. I think Nubia... Um, maybe even like all of the gold cards except truth and justice truth and justice is actually really good but maybe these other gold cards nubia swamp thing signal and big barda these are all other cards we're probably going to end up wanting to replace later on but uh this is the deck list uh this is just me working with the cards that i have on my free to play account um and i'll go ahead and i will share the, uh, the deck code for this deck in the description of this video if you want to try this deck out yourself maybe make some improvements to it uh, yourself to make it even better right uh, but now let's go ahead and hop over to my main account where i can uh show you what a fully stacked uh batman wonder woman deck uh what it can look like okay so now we are on my main account where i have all the cards in the game now this is what a more advanced deck uh, would look like for Batman Wonder Woman what you want to be building towards now this is something I just threw together real quick this is not necessarily like the end all be all like best deck in the game or the best Batman Wonder Woman deck right like I'm sure you can kind of experiment with it and see like what works for you but I want to show you kind of um, like what are some of the cards you want to be working towards and um, if you can see we still have some of those some of those cards um, I showed off previously Alfred and the question I think these are still really good cards Superman Robot is a really good card. Um, Steve Trevor. Now, this is a, a card I throw in into pretty much all my might decks. It just says deploy charge a friendly leader. And with Batman and Wonder Woman uh, only requiring two charges to activate their leader ability, Steve Trevor becomes very, very valuable in this deck list. Uh, then we have Crypto, which has a shield and it's going to give another friendly character a shield. You can uh, protect something like, uh, where is he? Clark Kent. Clark Kent is a card I mentioned earlier. Um, you can play him uh, on turn one or on turn two with Crypto. Give him a shield. You want to protect him. And in the next turn, if he survives, he transforms into Superman. And it's uh, it's pretty much game over if your opponent cannot answer him. Um, another card we have in here is Detective Chimp. This is a 2-3 with Evade. It says deploy. Identify the card in your opponent's deck from three suspects. If you solve the case, draw a card. So basically what this means is uh, it's going to show you three cards on the screen if you can correctly identify which one is in your opponent's deck then you will draw a card so a two three bronze with evade that potentially draws you a card this card is uh really really good and we have john diggle after you create your first action each turn uh, he gets plus one plus one so he's going to go very well with gadgets uh, we have Utility Belt, which is, again, just a really good card. Two copies of Bluebird, one copy of Arrest, Clark Kent, uh, two copies of Bat Cycle, uh, two copies of uh, the Queen here, which, again, is still a really good card. We got two copies of Steel. This one, this one I'm, a, I'm a bit iffy on. Maybe you can replace him with something else, but he's just a silver uh, guard with 5-6 stat line, which is just a pretty good stat line, and guard is a, you know, is a good keyword to protect your leaders and your other cards. Uh, we still have Batwing here. Now we have Hephaestus, which is a silver card, 1-6, start, seek a new divine weapon. So if uh, he just stays on the board, he's just going to generate a, a new uh, a new card for you each turn, which is really, really good. And we have Lucius Fox. Lucius Fox is actually uh, uh, an insanely good card. So he's going to upgrade your gadgets everywhere. And what does that mean exactly? It means the gadgets that Batman has, like Battering, uh, Grapnel Gun, uh, bandage and smoke screen basically they all have like additional effects to them right like for example battering does one damage but the upgraded battering does three damage so lucius fox is a really really good card um if you have him definitely throw him into your batman decks and then we have commissioner gordon commissioner gordon's one of my favorite cards actually uh he has evade deploy summon a squad car uh with the three three stat line and then the squad car is just a three three body with speed so Commissioner Corden is is really really good as well. This is definitely one of the cards uh, you want to be trying to get. Uh, then we move on to the gold cards. 
we have unexpected help, which just says if you have exactly one leader, summon a might, energy, or tactics leader, set their health to 10 and their charges to three. So this is kind of one of those cards that can help um, turn the tides of the game, right? Like if you're losing um, and you lost one of your leaders, you play unexpected help, and then you just get another leader. So sometimes this card can come in clutch for you. Definitely not like um, required. You can definitely, you know, play decks without it but it, it, it is a very fun card then we have the uh, recruit version of batman which uh th this card is is pretty damn good so he actually has three keywords ambush hunter and hidden and he says after you play a gadget draw a card with a 6-6 six, six stat line this card is just really good in any gadget sort of deck and we have super size which is going to double the attack and health of a friendly recruit plus draw you a card again drawing a card is just always good then we have the recruit version of Superman. He has an 8-8 eight, eight stat line with shield. While Superman is in your front row, your leaders are invincible. This is just one of those good cards you can pretty much throw into any deck, and he's going to get value for you. Next up, we have a, a really good might card, which is dual force. It just says charge your leaders twice. Uh, so just getting the uh, two charges on your leaders, being able to activate their abilities after playing this uh, is very, very valuable. And then, of course, we still have Truth and Justice, which, again, uh, like I said before, is just a good card. So this is um, this is it. This is like an advanced deck of what uh, it would look like for Batman Wonder Woman. And again, this is not the end all be all deck, right? Like maybe you can maybe you can make something better. There's there's a lot of cards that you can play with um in this game which is uh, one of the things i love about this game there's so many different cards you can play there are so many um different combinations that you can do right like i didn't even mention other cards like like bruce wayne i think it's pretty good deploy and start create investment in your hand and then the investment is uh basically just a bronze card that draws you a card uh so there are, are a ton of cards that you can throw into this deck right like batmobile i didn't even mention there's also cyborg like uh, i can go on and on but that's it i hope this video helped you out and i hope you were able to uh maybe try and build a better budget friendly beginner friendly batman wonder woman deck um let me know if you guys enjoyed this video if you did i will probably do the other two starter decks then the superman and flash version i'll do uh same thing right i'll do like an upgraded version of that deck and then like an advanced version of that deck and then i can also do uh the poison ivy harley quinn deck if you guys are interested in that as well let me know if there's anything i could do that could make this video better i would uh you know appreciate any feedback and i uh, hope you guys are enjoying dc dual force thank you so much for watching uh, appreciate you all and i'll see you in the next one later.